filmed in Scotland. Big battle scenes. That's why they brought us out there. Yeah, yeah right. Uh, it's all, it starts Chris Pine yeah. as a, uh, it's a uh, Bruce the... He's Robert the Bruce. Robert the Bruce. Yep. And so basically he's this common guy, you know, not royalty by any means. He's, really. a, he's a noble. His dad is a chieftain. To, to yeah. a degree. But right. I mean, this guy is like not, not... Not by the English standard. Not living the life, you right. know. Right. And so through the means of, you know, basically oppression and whatnot, yeah. it grows into a revolt. He becomes a freedom fighter. And so he becomes an icon. He yeah, becomes, absolutely. He becomes a, a light at the end of the tunnel kind of yeah. thing for these people. Yeah. And so... And then you've got, you talk about this battle at the end. Oh, my goodness. That is just, it's kind of like, it reminds me a little bit, uh, and I know, you know, there's different tales and all this, uh, of 300. Yeah. In the yeah. sense of. In terms of the numbers and the odds. Yeah. It like was not in their favor. Screwed. It was not in their favor. But you might win. <laughs> yeah, you might. You might if you do it smart. So, you know, um, I, I mean, I don't want to give too much away. I mean, like, well, you know. It's it's history, but it's 14th century history. And he mentions in the interview that you just saw Braveheart and how yeah. it's impossible not to compare. So as a departure point. Which is always annoying. I, I, I get know, it. I know. <laughs> but as a departure point, Robert the Bruce's story begins when William Wallace is killed. Yep. So it actually is a companion piece to Braveheart in a way. Like a sequel. It's almost like an extension to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the way I chose to view it. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Um, but I'll jump into it because yeah. here's the thing. Uh, the, the one thing I've always heard, that at least people from like, when we were in Scotland, yeah. that they were super excited about is that it's not people like Blueface. Right. Because they're just sick of it. Yeah, they're kind of sick of that old Pictish makeup. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, they're like, yeah. you know, yeah, Braveheart's great and all. Yeah. But, like, it's just, it's become almost like a cartoon of itself. Sort of a cliche. And so yeah. they're like, now that we've got this, like, really cool, you know, this guy, yes, he has a mullet. But like, yeah. he does, <laughs> he does high bangs and a mullet. But like, like, but you said spare no expense. I mean, like, yeah. yeah. I mean, like he said it in the interview, like this, these armor that they're wearing. Yeah. Because the director said, like, I don't want this cheesy spandex stuff. Like, we're wearing chains. You like, need to look like you're walking with the weight on you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah. I mean, can you imagine? I mean, I, I don't want to. I nope. can't even walk up the stairs with <laughs> by myself. No. Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, no, the fight scenes are great. But I will say this: the speech that he gives. I think it's almost up there with Braveheart. Definitely. I think it's almost up there, even even if it's just the one for the next generation. Yeah. Uh, I think that's great. But uh, the one thing that I took away from this is that Aaron Taylor Johnson knows how to give a war cry. He is a crazy man in this movie. <laughs> this is not kick-ass. This no. is like a crazy... No. he's an adult. Frothing at the mouth. Not even Quicksilver. Bearded yeah. nut job. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> he... he his character is supposedly crazy. I mean, he's, oh, yeah. he's, he's last name Douglas. He, be, he becomes known as the Black Douglas because he's so nuts on the yeah, battlefield. Yeah. And he plays it perfectly. Chris Pine was talking about it on actually Stephen Colbert. Yeah. That when, when uh, Robert the Bruce died, that they cut his heart out and like cut it into three spots and took it to three different parts of like of the homeland. Oh, no, they didn't do that in the movie. Yeah. Yeah, the movie just ends with like a scroll. A scroll. So, yeah, yeah. you know, you don't get to see his end. But, well, sorry, spoiler alert. But, <laughs> I mean, I mean you, he's dead now. Yeah, so. he's definitely dead now. <laughs> he's been dead for a while. <laughs> uh, but no, I think I mean I think Chris Pine's a good actor. You know, I don't think it's Oscar worthy kind of thing. But you know, like, I was worried about the accent. Is like, you know, is this going to be Kevin Costner, Robin of Locksley? Oh God, it's not that bad. No, at all. no he no. does fine actually. I think it's fine. I mean, I'm not a Scottish person, but I think he does fine. I will say that I though am the kind of person who never hears bad accents. I'm like, I it, never heard. You definitely heard Kevin Costner's bad accent. I don't think I did. Are but, you serious? Well, when I was a kid. I Go mean, back like, and watch I it saw, now. Maybe when I see it. <laughs> You'd be horrified. <laughs> I saw it when I was like a little kid. I wasn't paying attention. I was like, oh, cool, the arrow shot, you know. When he first says his name in that movie, the entire theater was like, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I think Chris Pine's a good leader. Yep. Uh, you know, Aaron Taylor Johnson steals it. I think uh, the, the rest of the cast, like you said, we talked to uh, Tony and, and Billy. Um, what do you think of the directing? I actually thought it was well done. There's a beautiful I, one shot that starts the movie. Oh, dude, the one really shot at the beginning is so gorgeous. fantastic. Yeah. It's gorgeous. No, the, the direction's fantastic. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. it's, it's to me, it is Netflix putting their foot down and saying we're in this game now. They're willing to spend money. They're yep. willing to take big risks. They're willing to hire big stars. Yeah. I mean, they already did this a little bit with Idris Elba, you know, in the um, uh, the African Warlord movie. Jeez, I can't think of the name of it now, but... I know you're talking They're about. willing to spend money on actors. Yeah. Now they're willing to spend money on production value, too. They're coming. They're coming. Uh, three you? stars. Me, too. Exactly yeah. the same. Three stars. Boom. There yep. you go. We haven't filmed in a while, but we're still on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> so check it out. Uh, it's going to be in some theaters. It might be gone by now, but if anything, it's on Netflix. It's already on so Netflix. So you can check it out there. Coming up next, another Netflix movie. It's called Roma. Stay tuned.